Hey everyone, welcome to this video. If you're looking for the best external monitor for macOS, you've probably come across different resolutions like 1080p, 1440p, 4K, and 5K. But which one is the best choice? Today we'll go over the advantages and disadvantages of each, focusing on how well they work with macOS. Let's get started. Let's begin with 1080p. If you're considering a 1080p external monitor for your Mac, it's definitely the most affordable option. It's fine for basic tasks like web browsing, emails, and office work. But here's the downside. Mac OS is optimized for retina resolutions, and 1080p on a large monitor looks blurry and outdated. Text appears pixelated, and the lack of screen space makes multitasking frustrating. If you're used to a Mac's built-in retina display, a 1080p monitor will feel like a major downgrade. Now let's move on to 1440p. 1440p monitors offer a good balance between affordability and sharpness. They provide more screen space than 1080p, and text and UI elements look noticeably crisper. The downsides? While 1440p is better than 1080p, it's still not as sharp as 4K or 5K. Even though it eliminates most of the pixelation from 1080p, it can still appear slightly pixelated to those used to retina displays. This is especially noticeable when working with fine text or detailed graphics. If you're sensitive to sharpness, you might still find 1440p-i lacking compared to higher resolutions. Next up, we have 4K. 4K external monitors have become very popular among Mac users. They offer excellent sharpness and work well for creative tasks like photo and video editing. Plus, they provide great screen real estate, allowing you to fit more windows on your display. The problem? Mac OS scales UI on 4K displays to look like a 1080p UI by default, which doesn't take full advantage of the resolution and makes UI elements less sharp than they could be. You can adjust the scaling to make the UI look like 1440p, which provides a better balance of sharpness and screen space, but it's not a perfect fit for 4K and can introduce slight blurriness. Additionally, using non-native scaling modes increases the workload on your Mac's GPU, which can impact performance, especially on older or less powerful Macs. Now let's talk about the best experience, 5K. If you want the best external monitor for Mac OS, 5K is the way to go. It offers perfect scaling, meaning everything looks sharp and clear. This is especially important for professionals working with text, graphics, and high-resolution content. The downsides? 5K monitors are expensive and require a fast connection, such as Thunderbolt or DisplayPort, to function properly. They also demand more power from your Mac, so if you're using an older or lower-end model, performance may take a hit. Additionally, there are fewer 5K options on the market compared to 4K, making it harder to find a monitor that fits your needs and budget. Another limitation is that most 5K monitors are capped at 60 Hz, which might not be ideal for users looking for higher refresh rates for gaming or smoother motion. Conclusion. Which external monitor should you choose? The best resolution depends on your needs and budget. 1080p, only consider it if you are on a tight budget. The image quality will be noticeably worse compared to a retina display. 1440p, a decent middle ground, but it's still not as sharp as 4K or 5K and can appear slightly pixelated for some users. 4K, the most popular choice, offering a good balance of sharpness and screen real estate. However, Mac OS scales it to 1080p by default and adjusting to 1440p homo scaling can reduce sharpness and impact performance. 5K, the ultimate experience, but it's expensive, requires a fast connection, has limited availability, and is mostly limited to 60 Hz refresh rates. If you want the best macOS experience, 4K or 5K is the way to go. Just be mindful of macOS's scaling quirks. Which external monitor do you use with your Mac? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.